As many American communities grapple with the nation's transition away from coal as a fuel for generating electricity, participants in the Intermountain Power Project have taken a proactive approach to utilizing existing infrastructure and preserving the economic benefits of a vibrant energy industry. The result is IPP Renewed, a project that will result in construction of new generating facilities at the IPP site and a major upgrade to transmission lines linking the project to Southern California. Progress on IPP Renewed is well underway and the project is garnering worldwide attention for its planned use of green hydrogen as a resource. What is green hydrogen? Here's an introduction. A 100% clean energy future. That's something we all can agree on. But how do we get there? Turns out the answer is all around us. Hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element in the universe. When used as a fuel, hydrogen produces none of the carbon dioxide associated with fossil fuels and climate change and people have been making, storing, and using hydrogen for decades. We already know how to do this, so why haven't we done it yet? In the past, most hydrogen has been extracted from fossil fuels by using fossil fuels, making the carbon-free resource something less than carbon-free. But now, things are different. Carbon-free renewable energy sources, like wind and solar, are becoming so abundant and inexpensive there are times of the day and year when we have much more than we can use. What if we take that excess energy when it is available and produce hydrogen that can be stored for use whenever and however it is needed? A project in Utah is preparing to do just that. At the Intermountain Power Project, plans are underway to use renewable energy and a decades-old process called electrolysis to split regular water into its hydrogen and oxygen components, then store the hydrogen in massive underground salt caverns to be used whenever it is needed. Electrolysis costs are plummeting as interest in this green hydrogen is rapidly spreading around the world. And the Intermountain Power Project is an ideal location to deploy the concept at a significant scale. Home to two large coal-fueled electricity generating units that will close in 2025, much of the infrastructure to make this work is already there. Land, water, regional electricity transmission connections, railroads, highways, a seasoned energy workforce. And it all sits atop a geologic salt dome capable of storing hydrogen energy equivalent to many thousands of batteries. Green hydrogen can also be used for much more than 100% carbon-free electricity generation. Green hydrogen has a future in transportation, fueling cars, trucks, buses, trains, and ships. It can be used to make steel, and it can be used in numerous chemical manufacturing processes. Get ready to hear more about green hydrogen. Green hydrogen, it's ready now. The transformational IPP Renewed project includes the retirement of the existing coal-fueled units at the IPP site in 2025, installation of new natural gas-fueled electricity generating units capable of 840 megawatts net generation output starting up in 2025, modernization of IPP's southern transmission system, and the development of hydrogen production and long-term storage capabilities. The new natural gas generating units will be designed to utilize 30% green hydrogen fuel at startup, transitioning to 100% hydrogen fuel by 2045 as technology improves. Modernization of the 2400 megawatt capacity southern transmission system is a key component of IPP Renewed. That high voltage transmission system provides a direct current link from the IPP site to Southern California and represents a critical element in the delivery of renewable electricity to the Western U.S. power grid. Permitting and project design activities commenced in 2019, and the first major contracts were awarded in 2019 and 2020. Design of key facilities is well underway. Site preparation and construction is slated to begin in 2022. 
with new electricity generating units beginning commercial operation in July 2025 and transmission modernization completed in 2026. Building on more than 30 years of successful regional energy cooperation at the Intermountain Power Project, IPP Renewed will ensure that Central Utah continues to play a key role in Western energy markets for many more decades to come.